It's typical African landscape, open fields, long grass and harsh sunlight. The last place in the world you'd expect tens of thousands of people to gather to celebrate the Chinese New Year. I'm on my way to Bronkospreit, a small sleepy town near South Africa's capital Pretoria. We're more than 7,000 miles from Beijing, but at the heart of Africa's Chinese New Year. The Year of the Snake was welcomed in here, in the largest Buddhist temple and monastery on the African continent. Established two years ago, the Nanhua Temple attracts followers from around the country and globe. But far from this being a Chinese-only celebration, South Africans from all walks of life came to take part in the festivities. Local politicians also paid their respects. Customary dancing, folk singing, martial arts and lantern painting enthralled the crowds. For Chinese, definitely it's very important to get together. And then for the local people, gradually expanded to the local people because we show different culture, not only the religion, but different culture and different celebration, different arts. And it's a fun, it's a fun day for everybody. From early in the morning, followers queued up to be first in line to light incense as an offering to the gods. I think the year of snake taught us, go forward in your life. Don't fear any difficulty. And secondly, it taught us we must change. Just like a snake, every winter season, he must change his skin. So it's just like us, when we face the difficulty, what the meaning of snake is means we change our attitude change our thinking and life will change. A message that resonates with people here, many of whom slept in the temple grounds the night before to make sure they didn't miss a thing. Lee Roth Brownie was among them. She converted to Buddhism last year. It was actually very easy to make a transition because you were, are welcomed with such open arms and there's absolutely no judgment about any religion. It is such a spiritual experience to spend it with the temple and like-minded people. While the fireworks scared away evil and bad luck, a Chinese wish tree attracted the hopes and prayers for the coming year. This year I wish to pass my uni year of university and I hope for my family to have good health and be safe this year. I was going to say that all the happiness and uh, health for my grandmother who's turning 70 this year. I wish us all the Chinese living South African be safety and uh, be health. I think uh, lot, made a lot of money. The Year of the Snake holds the promise of wisdom, peace and consolidation. Gifts that a troubled country like South Africa could greatly benefit from. Hayley Slear, Channel News Asia, Bronco South Africa.